Hey guys, um, my name is Antonella. Uh, most people call me Bella Nella, and so welcome to my channel. Um, this topic, actually, I shared it on Facebook, but I wanted to actually share it with you all as well. Um, it's on Friday, I actually have a topic that um, I talk about, and it's really uh, about unforgiveness. And so Fridays, I call it like the, I call it Freedom Fridays. And Freedom Fridays is pretty much where it stands behind because Friday, of course, is the end of the week. And on Friday, pretty much symbolize that you are free because most people on the weekend don't work. Some do, but most don't work. So the, the freedom of being able to do things with your family, friends, whatever, and have a good time. And also, Friday is, um, I called it the Freedom Friday because I want it to be, in, for us to be intentional on Friday to kind of reflect on the week, how we've been, how we've, um, you know, reflect on what's been happening. If there's anybody that offended you, made you upset, your baby mama, baby dad, whoever, friend, mom, dad, whoever, um, make it, Friday will be the day where we would, make it uh, our goal to forgive, let go, set yourself free. As we know, forgiveness is not for the other person, but it's for you. So Friday is very important for you um, to reflect, and you should do that every day anyways, but if you have not, let Friday be a day where you can release, let it, let it go. If you have to meet the person, if you have to talk to the person, um, let it be let's, let's do that and be intentional about it so again um unforgiveness is a topic that is very touchy for a lot of people a lot of people won't admit that they're walking in unforgiveness a lot of people are walking in um false humility and i have i've been one of those people and sometimes still struggling with forgiving some you know people that has that's that hurt me and um because you set so such a expectation and not expecting for especially if it's that person for me anyways if he's a he's he or she is a christian i set i set the bar higher because i wouldn't think they would do something to hurt me or intentionally or whatever and so if when and when they do it's just it hurts even harder i don't know why but it does and so anyways um so just being you know walking with forgiveness is, is definitely a, a main goal of mine and that is something that we should we do every day it's a constant thing it's not something that is uh, one and done um, it's something that you got to do all the time even in the bible um, i'll actually want to share a verse with you all um in just a moment and actually like i said i shared this in my fa my facebook but i want i think it's very important for me to share it with on here too and the that's actually the parable of the unmerciful um servant okay and peter then it says and so it's matthew 18 i'm sorry matthew 18 verse 21 to 22 it says then peter came to jesus and asked lord excuse me how many times shall I forgive my brother or sister who sins against me? Okay. Up to seven times? Then Jesus answered, I tell you, not seven times, but 77 times. I made, I did further investigation, um, you know, online to find out what 77 times meant. Okay. And it says here, and I really like this here, it says the 70 times seven expression is symbolic for infinity. Christians are called to forgive an infinite number of time because that is the number of time that uh, that they are forgiven by God. When a Christian falls to forgive, it becomes inconsistent with the infinite forgiveness of God. That speaks a lot of volume because number one, we know that God forgives us uh, just uh, just ever, forever. Like He always forgives us, right? And so we also, as Christians, need to walk in that. Um, so therefore, there's no specific number. You should always be forgiving, always forgive your brothers and sisters. No matter how many times they are against you or sin against you, whatever, you should always find forgiveness. That is something that is constantly supposed to be in your life. 
you need to have this fruit of the, that fruit of the spirit and being forgiven. Okay, there's no ifs and buts about it. There's no question about it. God forgives us daily, always, and we should also walk in that forgiveness, right? And so, there you go. That's a, that's your answer right there. You should never feel that. Oh, I'm done forgiving you. I'm done with it. You don't. You're not deserving of my forgiveness. Because a lot of time, let's be honest. When we're walking in our forgiveness, we feel that they're not, they're, they shouldn't, they don't deserve to be forgiven, right? They deserve for you to not forgive them and you to walk in on forgiveness, pretty much. You know, you to have control of this situation and that's one way you feel because you're not going to forgive them. I have control of the situation, which is so false. Um, again, let God be the judge of that. Let God... You know, release it to God, but let let God take care and handle of that. But you do your due diligence to forgive your brother and sister, no matter what, how, whatever, you walk in forgiveness, okay? Never let unforgiveness set in and dwell in your heart because it'll, it'll start producing other fruits um, that are not the fruit of the Spirit, of course. Bitterness, anger, malice, all that, right? So we're trying to avoid that to happening. So, um, I wanted to talk about, and I talked about it on my Facebook, like I said, again, but I wanted to share my story today of what happened with me because pride was definitely, it is definitely an issue. It's definitely a spirit that I've struggled with because I've, I've, you know, I experienced it through my life growing up in the household that I grew up in. And is a Haitian household, so you know, for those who are Haitian, can agree to when I say that we walk, you know, and if you grew up in a Haitian household, you know, one of the, those spirits that that is predominantly effect, active is unforgiveness and uh, pride. You know, those two together, those two come in hand because um, you know they're you know you you'll deal with that parent that is prideful that is not going to admit when they are wrong that's not going to say i love you that's not going to you know just surrender you know um or forgive you know if they if you do something then you can be cut off of the family you could be the worst thing that can ever happen to that parent to you you know so stuff like that Anyways, this morning, um, well, just to kind of give you a back-end story, for those who know me, um, know that I don't have a close relationship with my mom. Not that I, that's what I want, you know, you can't help certain things. And, um, you know, we don't have that bond, that mother-daughter bond that I would want us to have. And so, anyways, um, recently we, you know, we had a disagreement about something, whatever, and um, we didn't talk for at least a month or three weeks, but I, I, I think it was a month. We didn't talk at all. And, um, you know, I, I made the attempts, you know, because I wanted to tell myself, okay, well, at least I'm going to do, you know, what I'm going to do as a Christian person and, and uh, not, you know, call her so that, you know, it shows that I'm doing my part and she's not, whatever. So, anyways, I, I've called her multiple times, and she wouldn't answer. Like, I knew she wouldn't. And so, um, so then I was like, you know what? I'm done with it. I'm never going to call her again. I was just like, you know, I'm done with her, and it is what it is. If she, doesn't ever, if she never wants to talk to me again, that's fine with me. I don't, I'm not going to talk to her either. So, I just, just caught on that attitude where I just was like, whatever, I'm done with her. And so... I think I was walking mostly in false humility because even though I was like, I'm done with her, I still was feeling that heaviness. And like, I still was feeling, you know, that spirit of rejection and just that. I was feeling hurt, you know, all those things. But I was like, you know, I felt like that was either my defense mechanism to just cut her off kind of thing. She's apparently, she doesn't want me to call her anyway, so why should I even bother? So I took on that attitude, any, you know, so this morning, um, you know, God, you know, as I woke up, God was like, you need to call your mom. So 
And, you know, I was like, God, like, are you serious? Like, you really want me to call her? Like, I was battling with that that this morning. Um, you know, I was going back and forth, not knowing if I want to do it or not, or whatever. And, you know, I felt that spirit of pride coming up. And I was like, well, she need to call. She she need to be the one to call me. Like, I called her multiple times. And apparently she, she made it known that she doesn't want me to call her. So why should I call her, you know? So that spirit of pride was coming up, rising up in me. And I had to cast it down, like... I was like, you know, I recognize it. You know, when you, you know, self-aware, like you can come into term and you could see when the spirit's trying to rise up in you, like that shouldn't be there. So I, I knew it, it wasn't of God. And I was like, hey, you know, let me cast it down. Let me pray about this. So I prayed. I was like, okay. I built up the gut to like call. And so I called her and I'm like, okay, she's not going to answer, you know. So I'm, I'm good. And so let me just call so I can... You know, so God can see that I made the attempt. So I call, I call, it's, it's ringing. And like, you, you know, sometimes when you, you know, when you don't want to do something and you actually do it. And it's like, like I said, for this particular incident, it was like the longest ring ever. It was just like not going. It just kept ringing and ringing. I'm like, when is it going to stop? So it rang. And then she finally picks up and she's like, hello. Like, like happy and stuff. And I'm like, hi. Like. And, um, you know, I'm not expecting it because I'm like, oh, God, or, you know, and I'm, you know, I'm like my heart is beating so fast and I'm scared. And, you know, and she doesn't know that, of course, but I'm like, you know, I'm trying to remain cool. You know, how you doing? Whatever. She's like, I'm doing great. And, you know, I'm like, how's everybody doing? She's like, everybody's good, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, <clears throat> you know, and she just noticed that, I, you know, my voice. She's like, you sound sick, you know. And I was like, yeah, you know, I had the flu this whole week and blah, blah, blah. And I'm not feeling so well. Um, and she's like, you know, uh, well, you need to, you know, drink some tea and honey, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, just like a mother would say, you know, you need to take care of yourself. And I was like, yeah, you're right. You know, I ought to do better. And so we just talk, started talking, you know, small talk, nothing serious. But, you know, and then she had to do something. And she's like, you know, I'll call you a little bit later tonight, you know, and just take care of yourself, you know, whatever. And so we ended the call, and I'm telling you, I wait, lifted off my shoulder immediately, and um, I felt a release, you know, and and I felt at peace, you know, and you know, I'm I'm glad that I was obedient to God. So when He told me to call her, I actually did, um, because He knows best. He knows best. He knows that. He knows that not talking to my mom was something that was I was I want to say affecting me but that was bothering me that was it, it was it was bothering me because I, I want to have a relationship with her I seek it so bad and so when he when I actually did you know and we talked it, it felt a lot much better so anyways um I, I'm saying this to say you know Always have forgiveness in your heart. I'm um, coming into term that, you know, you can't change people, but one step at a time, you have to be the one to make that. You have to be the one sometime to make the initiative, to to be the first, you know, to do what you have to do. Like, you have to be the one to make the first step sometime. And it's not going to feel good. You may not want to do it. But as a Christian, I think we are called to set the example and... Even though I know she was not going to call me out. Because I'm telling you, she wasn't. I'm glad that at least she's able to see the God in me. Even though she... I know she has to see it. You know. And I'm glad that um, I can move on. And I'm glad that we're walking in... It's one step to the right direction. So it's, it may not be the... You know, it's, it didn't solve everything. But I think it's a step one step to the closer to the right direction so anyways um yep that's all i wanted to say and share with you guys as well i'm going to be on here a little bit more often now i'm that i'm feeling better but again today like i said it's friday forgive find it in your heart to forgive and let go all right guys that's it for me antonella and have a good day happy friday